Wait, did you see that? Did I glitch? Welcome back to reaction time with Fry and Pochita. I hope you're doing amazing because I am. Because we get to watch Chainsaw Man. Just a heads up. I'm obsessed with Chainsaw Man to the point where I bought myself the entire series book collection thing. Manga. It's uh... See? It's my birthday coming up, so happy birthday to me. Uh, we're gonna be watching episode three of Chainsaw Man, which is Meowie's whereabouts. So we just recently re met Power. She's gonna be a major character in the show. And uh, I'm really excited to see how they animated this whole section, because this is this is a very defining, a very defining moment in Power and Denji's relationship. So without a further ado, let's get on with it. Hopefully, hopefully Crunchyroll doesn't f me like it did last time. Oh, that's right. She just, she just killed like the sea cucumber devil with her giant hammer. There it is. Well, <laughs> やはり人間とは分かり合えぬのああ。デビルハンターとして許せねえよな。ああ。尊悪な。俺がぶっ殺してやるぜ。I could watch that over and over. It's so good. It's actually... Like, I'm pretty sure that they know when they say dogs that they're devils, but there's still like this part in my head where I'm like, do they know? <laughs> like, they're devils and Makima is just referring to them as dogs. Ooh, I was just reading this part in the new books that I got. I love this scenery. Oh, it's a beach house. Aww. <laughs> stain protector on the shoes power. Gonna keep hitting Denji like that. Oof. So dark. Oh my god, I'm so excited to see him animated. <laughs> He's massive. He really didn't need to go hide. Bug. Oof, that like literally would have been fine. Did not have to go into hiding. Just because one arm. You know, cats actually can't drink milk. Like, it's not good for them, I think. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, I love the music. Oh,どうしたの?うぬの気持ちがわかったぞ。うぬの気持ちがわかったぞ。ひどい気分じゃな。だめだ、だめだ。借りだ。Oh, those nostrils. ちの中が気持ち悪いぞ。俺の胸返せ。君は手つばく。悪魔に壊れちまったって思ったけど。そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう
Oh, this part. I love this. <laughs> Does it care about the dude, yo? Cares him. Uh. He's so crazy. He's like, he's doing all of this for boobs? Careful not to like hurt Miawe though. She's still in there. They'll probably be good. I really like these colors they're doing. That was Pachita! Yeah! Cool. Was this song made for them? Oh, this is so cool. Oh, ah, so good. So good. So, 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 so good. And this, I, I love this fucking series. It's hard for me to like really critique it. I actually really like the moth. Uh, I always call it the moth. The bat. The bat. Oh, first off, like that, that outro, almost as good as the intro. Like that's probably the best one so far. I mean, this is only the third episode, but that was really good. I like the kun. Like, was that song made for Chainsaw Man? Because that's just impressive. Like uh, how much, like, how successful, I bet that. Tatsuki Fujimoto, like the creator of Chainsaw Man, beautiful man, like how exciting it is for him to like see his artwork, not only animated, but to see songs being created for your animation, for your story, your imagination, your creativity, and other creators are creating an inspiration of your creativeness. Like, I just think it's so inspiring. Maybe that's why I, I've been trying to pinpoint of what it is about Chainsaw Man that I adore so much, but this episode where it really touches on both Power and Denji's love for their pets, like Denji's a dog person, Power's a cat person, and it really shows like how these pets just unapologetically and effortlessly love you just like in real life and how much it really means rather than having these uh, relationships with other humans, which is, you know, everyone you see in like a lot of shows, they're like, oh my God, my sister, my brother. I, I want it to be as simple as a dog or a cat, you know? I'm a simple person and I relate to this. I would give up my life for my dogs. I I adore this this series so much. It is so beautifully animated where it, it has that mixed media, but it also has that eeriness as Tokyo Ghoul where there's just, there's not a bunch of music. It, and in fact, a lot of it is silent. It's just like ambiance of like the wind and Denji and Power just talking to each other and you just hear the, the gentle hum of like the refrigerators holding the sodas. I just think it's really beautiful. The colors, how everything's muted, but then, like I said in the last episode, it, everything's a muted color, but then they have these random, like, flashes of color where, like, the bat bled purple, but, like, purple, which is a very off color for everything being so muted and power having these awkwardly long horns that we're not really used to seeing when we think of like a deva girl we think these like cute little horns like da -ba -da -ba -da. but she has like these long like fork looking thing <laughs> the animation and like the original drawings i keep pointing over here but you can't see but the original drawings are both like so intentionally like designed to just be a little uncomfortable but recognizable bat is like the basically kind of the first boss of Chainsaw Man, I would say, after Denji gets employed by Makima. And I I didn't realize how large the bat was when I read the books, but it, they really took like the bat's size and made it very visible of how strong this bat was. Like I said, when I first saw him, like he really did not need to go into hiding. He's like, they took my arm, so I had to go into hiding. I mean, it's also a bat devil, bat monster, whatever. So it's a bat. He's probably not going to be as stronger, as strong as the chainsaw. So maybe he is just all bark, but I mean, that bat was muscular as so I, I'm guessing the bat just didn't really know how to use his body and Denji also doesn't really know how to use his new body yet so and Denji still beat the bat. I'm excited to see Denji get more and more powerful because he's getting newly accustomed to this new powerful body and it's a chainsaw devil like he's going to be a menace like it's like you know it's not 
a car devil. It's not a zombie devil. It's a chainsaw. So excited. I'm so just proud of this series. I've been looking for something to obsess over. Demon Slayer is not coming out for a while and Mitsuri was my last obsession. She really filled my heart with something and I haven't been able to find something that I can obsess over. Like I love Jujutsu Kaisen so much. I just didn't, I don't know. There was, there's, there, I, I guess I haven't found my character to connect with. Well, that's not true. All the characters in Chainsaw Man, I feel like are relatable in their own way. They're all kind of sad. Um, there is no like antagonist, protagonist. Like they're all kind of in that blur of an area of being like, I'm not all great, not all evil. I'm just here trying to survive. I really appreciate you guys watching. Just in case you're curious, I kind of made my makeup match. Pochita. So. Thanks again for subscribing to my Patreon. Thanks for subscribing to my YouTube. If you're watching this there, but yeah, don't be a glitch. Go costume goonery elsewhere, and I will see you for the next episode of Chainsaw Man. See you later. Bye. Yeah.